All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your daily horoscope for Wednesday, the 1st of April, 2020. <sighs> Another beautiful day. Absolutely. All right. We've got the moon in Cancer. It's in the middle degrees now, moving toward the 20 degrees by later tonight. It's going to start to oppose Jupiter, oppose Pluto, right? As we've got it in the middle degrees, though, we have Jupiter, or, uh, excuse me, Jupiter. We have the moon creating a trine over here to Mercury and then to Neptune, okay? So this is a water trine, all right? Water, an easy flow of energy between our emotional body and our imagination, our dreams, okay? Um, uh, that's on the, on the one side, dreams, imagination, okay? We can really start to be feeling, living, creating our dreams, and that's kind of weird to say during this time, but this, this time is giving us the opportunity right now um, to be still, to sit with oneself, sun and Aries, you know, finally moving away from that conjunction of Chiron, uh, taking the initiative of self to figure out what it is who it is that we want love in this life, whatever it may be. It doesn't necessarily be a person or a thing, a job, a career path, a change of directions, okay? Um, and we're really feeling that, okay? So we're going to start to bring that into fruition, especially as we have uh, Mercury here creating that septile to Jupiter and to Pluto, all right? That is huge, and it's at 16 degrees, okay? Now, if you remember, during the retrograde of Neptune, if you've been following this channel for a while, during Neptune's retrograde, it was stuck at 16 degrees for a very, very, very long time, several months, okay? And 16 degrees is about what all the colors coming together, right? It takes all the colors, all the different genres uh, to create the parade, yeah? You know, it, it takes everybody the little cops and robber guys that ride around on the bikes it takes the drummers it takes the the bagpipe players it takes the beauty queen ah. you know it takes uh everybody everybody's input every every color of the rainbow needs to come together to work together to unite and there's an emotional need for this uniting happening right now now on on the flip side this can be our imaginations running wild okay and because yeah, you know, our imaginations are running wild. We're paying too much attention to the media, which we are, okay? We, we simply are. Um, and we're being overly emotional about it. We're being scared about it. We don't want to leave our little comfort zone about it. You know, it's easier to, to sit in bed all day long than to get up and, and start doing things, being active, getting chores done around the house, being productive during this time. So this is the, the fall side, right? And because we are emotionally consumed mentally by the media, okay, we're becoming obsessive, Jupiter, Pluto, obsessive about what is happening, what's going on of the authority, something that's outside of my control, okay? So you see, this can work in two ways, my friends. It can be working against us, keeping us scared, keeping us limited. Uh, it can be working for us as we see great opportunity, okay? It's all in our perspective with the sun in Aries right now, okay? Mars, our planet of action, moving just away from the Saturn conjunction that happened on Tuesday. You know, they're going to start to create, well, I mean, the sun's moving a bit faster, but either way, they're, you know, between fire and air, uh, action and self motivated to create a future for myself. We, we as a species must survive. We as individuals must survive. You know, we will find a way, right? We will find a way. We will find an answer through all of this. And it's important for us to dial in, tune in with ourselves, tune out of the news, tune out of the media, tune into ourselves, uh, and and, you know, what if we're eating beans and rice and only drinking water for the next several years? Only eating, you know, oatmeal and, and beans and rice and water for the next several years. You know, can we find happiness in this? Can we find peace in this? Can we find unity where we all come together during this process, during this time? You know, 
it's in our perspective okay Wednesdays are Odin's days Odin is ruled by Mercury Mercury's in Pisces we have to be intuitive we have to use our instincts we have to we have to listen to our guides to spirit to source you know and tune into self Sun and Aries self right get away from the media <laughs> I, I go on YouTube again. I watch so much videos on YouTube, um, and it was again. I don't look up the coronavirus stuff. I I really try to avoid it, and it it's pops up at, at the top of my feed every single day. It's just like it's being fed to us, you know. It's being fed to us, and it's just like fifty thousand people are watching right now this live, and it's just like it's not going to change right now. We're all in lockdown, you know. I don't want to be insensitive. I'm. I'm absolutely not but it's like it's not going to change we know where we're at right now and uh, you know it's like watching the scab heal what's the point you know either get back on the monkey bars you know put a band-aid over it get back on the monkey bars get back on your bike uh, and go for a ride and live your life and this energy is telling us exactly that you know create 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 no manure no magic Right? Create something out of this time. Create something out of this idle time. Create something with self. Diving into your emotions. Diving into your intuition. And allowing transformation to happen within yourself. It's a beautiful day, my friends. As always, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And we'll see you tomorrow.